Call of Duty 2021 release dates. Welcome back to the channel. It's Gazza. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day today. So this video is all about the Call of Duty 2021 reveal, like potentially when this thing's going to be happening, the release dates. Let's get into this. Let's just cut all the BS out. Let's get straight into this. So as you know, the probability of them releasing the reveal in Call of Duty Warzone is probably like a 99%. That is probably almost guaranteed that is going to be happening because obviously Warzone is the mode that is making them the money the most. So it's kind of just, it makes sense for them to bring it through into Warzone. So obviously it gets more players playing Warzone and it makes them more money on there and they can reveal the game at the same time. It will get all the pre-orders up. This is in their head, by the way. It's going to get all the pre-orders up. It's going to get all the views up. It's going to get all the monetary values of everything upwards. And it kind of just makes sense from a financial point of view. They already have Warzone out there that people love to play and they can reveal things through that. And it doesn't really cost as much anyway. They just got to put this into a game that's already been made and they can have the trailer or the the live event then and there. It makes sense to do it in Warzone. And that is where I believe it's going to be happening. So how are they going to do it in Warzone? That is the biggest question of all time. So what have we seen previously? Black Ops 3, we saw it in Nuketown. They did it on the giant screen. In Warzone, we've kind of had the stadium event where we got to run towards the stadium, we've got to find woods, and that's how Black Ops Cold War got released. So how is World War II Vanguard going to be announced? So here is my thoughts and my opinions on how this thing is going to be happening. The bunkers are still in the game right now. The bunkers currently have no purpose whatsoever. The Easter egg's already done, it's done dead in the old Warzone map, but the bunkers are still there. The bunkers are still accessible through a wall breach, or if there's a code on a couple of doors, you can still get into them. But honestly, there is no point of them bunkers being there right now. It's literally just dead space. There is nothing to do with the game and the bunkers right there. So my opinion is, those bunkers are going to be having something to do with the reveal of Call of Duty 2021. I could be wrong, I could be wrong completely, but here is my opinion. The the World War II Vanguard is going to be released with inside of the bunkers. It's, I'm not saying you open the door and the game's going to be inside there and everyone can just go and play it. I'm saying is there's probably going to be another easter egg along the line to be able to get inside the bunkers, which might lead to hints and websites to be able to get to the trailer for Call of Duty 2021. So that is all my thoughts and opinions on the reveal of this day. I believe it's going to be happening in around 16 days, which is approximately the beginning of the new season. So obviously today is the 26th of July. So 16 days is something like the middle of August, something like that. And that is when I believe the reveal for Call of Duty World War Vanguard will happen obviously if it happens before that i will update everybody with a new video but that is my opinion in about 16 days time we will be seeing the trailer or some kind of snippet of announcement some kind of teaser either way it's going to be coming out very very soon if you guys are hyped for it make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button good answers hit up that comment section with all your thoughts about Call of Duty 2021 and its reveal, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out. Peace.